There's one other thing and one other change I want to make, which is giving people the right to say goodbye. One of the important things that care homes do is support people at the end of their life. Sadly, even in normal times, each month about 10,000 people die in care homes. Sadly, even in normal times, each month about 10,000 people die in care homes. Even in normal times, about 10,000 people die in care homes. And our social care colleagues work incredibly hard to ensure support for people and dignity to people at the end of their lives. Wanting to be with someone you love at the end of their life is one of the deepest human instincts. And it's a moment that will be with you forever. Done right, it can help those left behind to cope. And it brings comfort to those who are dying. Coronavirus, of course, has made this much more difficult. And I've been really moved and upset by some of the heartbreaking stories of people dying without a loved one nearby. As a father of a 13-year-old myself, the reports of Ishmael dying aged 13 without a parent at his bedside made me weep. And the sight of his coffin being lowered into a grave without a member of his family present was too awful. The reports of Ishmael dying aged 13. So I'm pleased to say that working with Public Health England, the care sector and many others, we're introducing new procedures so we can limit the risk of infection while wherever possible giving people's closest loved ones the chance to say goodbye. Sadly, even in normal times, each month about 10,000 people die in care homes. Even in normal times, about 10,000 people die in care homes.